Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of income and payments. This is part of personal financial literacy and standard 5.10b in the great state of Texas. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Cheyenne, and she's working 15 hours a week. That's good, in a movie theater. And she earns $8 an hour. And that's all we have, 15 hours a week, $8 an hour. So which statement about her weekly income is true? Well, first, we can just verify that. Uh, let's see if we see how much total she's making. Let's give her... Uh, 15 hours, right? So if we were to kind of break this up into, let's just pretend this is 15. I'm not going to draw all the way to 15. And pretend we've got $8 in each, right? We're going to make that go all the way over. So there's our strip diagram. So we just have eight, uh, 15 groups of 8. So if we're going to do our 15 groups of 8, that's going to be 40. And that's going to be my 12. And there's my 120 that I keep seeing over here. So theoretically, she earns $120, $8 for every single hour. But now take a look at what we have here. We've got some different terms here, net and gross, and they can repeat. And we need to know whether her net or gross is going to be more or less than $120. And that's kind of tricky. So... Let's see if we can define the two terms here. So, gross income, and I know it sounds like something is kind of nasty, but no, gross uh, is used uh, as, as a term of measurement here, is your total income. And here's the big key word right here, before taxes and payroll deductions. So let's just take, uh, let's just take this 120 as an example. So what kind of taxes and payroll deductions? Uh, so this is going to be her gross income right here. It's just your top money in a perfect world without you having to pay any taxes or any payroll deductions. Well, she's going to lose some money for uh, federal income tax withholding. So all employees have to pay federal income tax every single year by April 15th. But rather than waiting until April 15th to get all the money, the government takes a little bit of money out of each paycheck. They guesstimate how much money you're going to make. And then if you pay too much, you get it back. But they take it out almost month to month. And they take that uh, as prepayment for what you have to give every April 15th. So let's say she loses $15 to that. So that's 105 Now she's going to have to pay for uh, Medicare tax. Even though she's not on Medicare, Medicare is something that is for senior citizens and it is going to be for their health care. That's going to be very important. That might be $5. So we've got a federal income tax holding. We've got a Medicare tax, and that's going to be about 5 bucks. And she's also got to pay Social Security. That also is for, I'm just going to put SS here, Social Security. That's also for seniors because that is, uh, gives them just monthly income for their livelihood. So if she has any other deductions, if she has insurance, then that's going to cost on top of that. So if she pays for health insurance, that gets taken out of your gross income. That's maybe another $15. And then after all is said and done, she might have 75 bucks left. That's her net income. So even though she earned 120, she gets 75. And so her net income is less than her gross income. Less than 120, her answer is H.